All right. There is no balance in our solar system with the main gas giants, Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, and Pluto, and um, Jupiter, all on the same side. And so, hey, the number one best-selling emergency preparedness book, What to Expect When You're Expecting a Volcanic Eruption. What? And yeah, earlier today, we saw an eruption from the largest volcano on Earth, well, the largest non-super volcano on Earth in Hawaii, Mauna Loa. And now, Steve Herman Munster is reporting that there are signs of unrest at the Aiai Seamount, which is basically an underwater volcano, have been observed in satellite and remote geographical data. All right. If you'll notice here, the Aiai Seamount is located off of the Philippines, over by China, and across the pond from the U.S. of D.A. in the Pacific. And we're getting some pretty fancy aurora from the coronal hole that was facing Earth a couple days ago. And then tomorrow, people in the south are on the lookout for a big bullseye storm that has a moderate risk in the red zone, the red bean of danger. Did I already mention we live in interesting times indeed? And, as I mentioned a couple days ago, it looks like the weather's probably going to get kind of sort of weird for a few weeks, at least a week or two. And remember, um, end of November or December tornadoes, which are possible tomorrow, are kind of rare, you know, because you've got hot air combining with cold air and upper instability happening along the lines that the sides will be fighting on. It's almost like a medical or metaphorical fight between the mini ice age people and the um, climate change people. So buckle up, stay tuned, and stay aware. And shout out to all the soldiers keeping watch for over freedom on the wall especially to the ones in Alaska. Hey, guys, you got high winds coming in, high winds coming in, heavy precipitation, high winds, and much below normal temperatures down here. And then, as I keep saying, people on the West Coast in the United States of America, well, watch out for heavy rain all along the coast, down into even Los Angeles and Southern California, and then you get heavy snow up here, heavy snow up there, high winds, and a lot of heavy rain through here in the next three to seven days. But wait, there's more. Seems like there's been an uptick in meteorites or fireballs lately, and we had a 0.2 lunar distance asteroid pass by Earth. What? Meet seven. Man, I gotta get better at my nickname. And then let's take some time to continue to track the December hurricane, hybrid, storm, whatever you want to call them, situation. We've been watching three lows that spin up and at times look like they might hit hurricane strength. One going to, like, Spain and Africa. And then watch this one here, retrograde. And then kind of, that's hurricane strength right there. And then, boom. It's like a weird stealth hurricane that backs into New England, New Jersey, and um, New York around the middle of December. Now, nobody knows what's going to happen. But these this model has been continuing to show this weird three, this triple, like a Fujiwara and a half times two system thing. And then that's really weird. And I've been tracking that in the double eyes here. And notice how that retrogrades back into the coast and talking to you also, Virginia. Who knows what's going to happen? But like I said, there are a lot of things out there right now to make you think this volcano winter is going to be filled with really wild, wacky weather. So stay tuned if you want to. Hey, BlockFi announces its own bankruptcy today. Apparently, R. Kelly has his own line of eggnog. Oh, that's gross. Remember the Pluto return of America? It started, we're talking the 246, 48 year return, uh, where Pluto is returning to where it was when our country was founded. It started in February, and then it, Act 2 is in July, and Act 3 is December 28th. So look for more volcanoes and wildness. And here, it is do or die time. The S&P mapped over the 2008 analog. You can see here it tracked almost completely exactly as the 2008 crash, except for this last part. 
And this may be what Jeff Bezos and a lot of other people have been <clears throat> talking to us about, that the worst of the financial situation may be ahead of us, and you get another crash in stocks, and definitely crypto. Remember, Jeff Bezos, the day before Cyber Monday, was like, hey, everybody, don't buy a TV. The worst part of the recession is coming. Maybe this is exactly what he's talking about. Man, it's bad news across the board for crypto this year. Here's Silvergate, another crypto entity. Kind of crapped the bed again today. Pew! These are crazy days indeed. We've still got about 40 days-ish of Mars retrograde. And so hang in there. Stay cool. I'll do my best to keep everybody updated on all the weird shit that is possibly going on. But remember, like I said a week ago, I thought the next few weeks were going to be really wild weather. And now that we've seen one major massive volcano eruption that we were looking for, and then now possible deep ocean volcano eruption coming, uh, yeah, it's definitely more signs of it getting wilder. And those end of November tornadoes possible, definitely weather madness. So if you're in around the circle, I would definitely stay aware tomorrow. Watch this crazy dew point action. Holy smokes. That is nuts. Just brought to us by Radar Omega. That'd be a seven Torcon, bro. That volcano just pumping out aerosols and ash. All right, so everybody stay cool and play defense. And um, have a great day. God bless everyone.